and welcome to another video. I uh, left in the previous video I was refilling the seed in the planter here and as you can see I've had a little bit of spillage because I was trying to use the other seed trailer that I have but I have to use the pickup truck instead because that's how this is just panning out so. <laughs> um, so I'm going to refill and it just kind of teleports the seed. <laughs> it's a little unrealistic. I was trying to do it a more legitimate looking way, but this is how we have to refill this particular uh, seed or, or seed tank, I should say. Um, so just to recap, I'm uh, planting wheat right now, over planting my cover crop, which was oil seed radish. That's why you got the bands of green and uh, dark out there. I was alternating every other row, just giving myself more clearance, turning around on the end of the row after planting uh, using GPS, which I'll be doing here in a moment. Um, oh no. <laughs> um, just got to check the truck real quick. Oh wow, we are. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, just burned. Okay. So the truck was, those two big bags were full and we're only at 30% seed. So. All right. Well, for since I already started recording, I'm just going to uh, park this for now. And uh, let me see if we can do a little more planting. It's unfortunate that the uh, seed trailer wasn't working correctly, so I just ended up spilling some seed, which uh, isn't the end of the world, but definitely, uh, yeah the pickup truck I'm going to be having to do back and forth loads with that. So anyway, we'll hop in and get started again. Okay, GPS loaded up. Um, please go, there we go. Just gonna get the spout in. Sealed up. There we go. Okay, and so <laughs> not gonna, we'll see how far we can get with 30% seed, but uh, probably not too far. Head back into the field, figure out which line to plant on here. I don't know why I have this dead spot of uh, sunflower, it looks like. In fact, uh, let me just remedy, 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 <laughs> why is that hard to say? Let me just remedy it. Let me just do a pass, just get rid of that. It's a little unpleasant looking. Okay, now I need to just pick a pick a row to get started on here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna hold on. Uh, let's see here. I just gotta get the GPS menu open for a sec. It seems to at least like this again. It feels this. I think we're in field eight. Right. Ah, field eight. Okay. Okay, that's, oh, we got offset now, hold on, one second here, get our auto width reset, okay, now we're, there we go, okay, now we're good, we are good now, just worried there for a second. Oops, and there we go. Said I wasn't going to do tight turns, but alas. 
and back to planting. Right on. So using GPS guidance to give us these nice straight rows without any gaps. Uh, except for back there of course as I was finishing the turn. But uh, So yeah, we'll see how long 30% seed lasts us. Gonna have to do another trip with the truck. Which isn't ideal. I was thinking about grabbing a flatbed and just loading it up with pallets. Um, but I thought the pickup truck with its two seed bags in the back would fill this thing up a little bit more. But Let's see, where are we now as far as... Okay, so just got a couple more rows. I said I was going to bring in the 7310 because of my mishap with, uh, <laughs> mishap with hitting the tree, which is unfortunate. Um, so yeah, got a couple more rows to do, and then this triangle area, which is kind of a pain to plant uh, when trying to do straight rows back and forth. Um, but yeah, we'll see how far we get with this planter, because this obviously covers the most amount of ground efficiently, uh, but I might go get the 7310 uh, and, and do some finishing up planting here, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, planting wheat, uh, this field was corn, and uh, just want to try wheat and uh, maybe try straw harvesting, or uh, baling straw after that. Um, just to try something different. Done hay in the past, baling hay, and that's kind of a pain. Uh, having the uh, rake and windrow and tether and do all that. And then moving the bales after that. So might try straw baling if there's a market for that here. Haven't looked, but it would just be fun to try something new. Okay, now we're at 22%, and uh, we, might, we, might, we might actually have enough to do almost the rest of the field. Uh, being a little optimistic there, but let's see. Uh, looking at this, we're getting close to, I would say, over half is now planted, so. Triangle part looks a little deceiving, I think it's you know, makes up a pretty good chunk still.
go. So we're lifted. And now for the <laughs> now for the fun part. Of, uh, I guess I'll, I'll just leave a gap. Um, I'll leave a triangle of radish. Well, it's see radish just uh, for the sake of variety, and I like to have just you know straight uh, rectangular rows just to be more efficient. Go ahead and lower now. Uh, over there, by the way, is my uh, grass harvesting equipment. Um, got a couple different machines out there. Um, one is for baling, the other one's just grass um, cart or uh, grass wagon, just for picking up wet grass. And I was uh, using that for the composting plant down there, um, which takes compost and turns it into a dry fertilizer mix. So that's what all that uh, equipment is over there at my grass field, which uh, I just fertilized recently, a couple videos ago. It will make a pretty good dent with the uh, seed that I have. Now to down to 19%, uh, a couple more passes will probably be uh, pretty much out. So um, it was not much. I might just get the 7310 uh, since I know I have to do that pass down there uh, at the tree line because it wasn't wide enough. <laughs> it wasn't wide enough or as wide as I remember, uh, and it's just weird because I should have, the GPS should not have taken me tight against those trees. There goes train again. So yeah, after planting here, getting this weed field done, um, I think soon I'll be he heading to back to Europe to the Felsbrunn farm and uh, doing some planting over there. Just to rotate, now it's the time to rotate between all the different farms. Uh, Wisconsin here in California and the Felsbrunn farm. It's, it's springtime, so get all the planting work done now. Now we're down to 16%, not too bad. Um, might actually get almost the rest of the field done, so that's pretty decent. Stop there. Just gonna get turned around here.
<laughs> Turn on for the birds to let them know. Something's coming. Don't get run over. One percent and not too bad, so I think that would be good. This might be my last pass on the, on the side of the field. The erratic steering is not me, by the way, that's just the GPS system. Uh, it likes to drip around a little bit. But I'm too far from the center line. Perfect. I just know this area here can be a little bumpy and unpredictable, so I uh, just wanted to think for driving the planter over it, but it should be fine. So, not too bad. I know there's still that one pass down the middle of the field, but we have enough seed for that. 
Um, wow, well, right on. Got that done. Nine percent. <laughs> Should be enough for one pass. Last pass. As far as the tree line, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe I should leave it, actually. <laughs> be like a reminder, don't plant here, dummy. Uh, or use a different uh, different width planter. So, yeah. Maybe I should just leave it for now. That's, uh, yeah, it caught me by surprise. I thought, thought that was going to be pretty straightforward. back out to the fields at some point and do some more soil sampling just to fill in the gaps for the data there. Um, but I am excited to see what yield data will be um, from some of these fields. <laughs> What's that pad for? I don't know why I left that. Ah, oh, right on. 5%, but that's, that's actually quite a lot. I mean, considering the size of this tank, I mean, 5% doesn't sound like much, but that is actually still a good amount of seed left. If it was a smaller planter, even. short bit here. driving over seabed but <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do I guess Oh, 
Ooh, the pike turn. That thing does rotate pretty well. this done. I guess I don't think I'll just leave that uh, cover crop by the tree line for now. Cool. Whoa, right on. That bit's done. Let me just fold this thing up. Okay, well, this is what they uh, cool down for a minute, and yeah, they're done. Got it done. And I'll take the truck back and probably be headed to Europe soon, so. Alright guys, uh, well, I uh, think we're good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.